Hello, thanks for checking out my video. My name is Chris and welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. Um, today we're doing a video. We're gonna be comparing two uh, pieces from Arteryx. Uh, we're comparing the Proton FL, which is now known as the Proton Lightweight Jacket and the good old reliable Proton LT, right? So the two different Protons. Um, basically, they're very similar. Obviously one, the LT is gonna be heavier than the um, FL or the lightweight jacket. Uh, but we're gonna look into these a little bit and talk about it and uh, kind of compare the two, okay? Um, first off, um, I'd like to say we've reached a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys. So thank you. I really appreciate your support, man. It really helps me to keep doing this because if I don't have people watching my videos and liking what I'm doing, why, why even bother, right? So uh, again, thank you all very much uh, for the support. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been great and I hope to continue to bring you a lot of really cool things in the future. All right, um, okay, so <laughs> let's move on. Um, the Proton FL, all right, um, I bought over a year ago and I love this jacket. I actually even have the older version of this. This was revised, um, you know, like about a year or so ago. Um, and I always liked the older jacket. And when I got this one, I liked it even more. <laughs> um, reason being, the main primary reason where I, that I really like this jacket is the insulation that's inside of it. Okay, this is called an Octoloft insulation. It's, uh, it's almost uh, a very fine fleece, but it's kind of like in a, in a checkered pattern. Okay, so it is very breathable, um, but it is extremely soft. Uh, and what got me to buy this jacket, since I already had the older version of it, was this insulation because I have this insulation in another jacket, my Rush IS, which I really wish that Arteryx would make again um, because I love that jacket. It's absolutely one of my favorite jackets. It's a hard shell, but it has this uh, Octoloft uh, lining inside of it. Um, I bought that in a large, um, which is great. It fits me, you know, just wearing it with a t-shirt and going out. Um, but I don't have a lot of room for layering. Now, I did that on purpose, um, but if it was available again, I would buy the large, absolutely, so that I could wear it over heavier layers. But anyway, enough said. Um, uh, this insulation is awesome. It's, it's really nice and soft, okay? And it is very comfortable. So it breathes, all right? All these protons, the thing with the protons is that they are incredibly breathable, all right? Um, the Proton LT, is, you know, from what I've read, I'm not saying my word is absolute definitive, but from what I've read, um, people say that this Proton LT is the most breathable jacket on the market. So, um, and people love this thing. It is absolutely a staple from Arteryx. Um, uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. So this uh, jacket doesn't have any other insulation. Like there's no core loft insulation in this or anything. It's just this light layer of Octoloft. And um, it is just such a nice jacket. I love wearing this thing, you know, spring, fall, um, when I go, you know, on little hikes, uh, walking through the woods with my camera. Um, it's perfect because it is breathable, it's lightweight. Um, in fact, I bought this color, uh, which was called conifer, um, you know, just because I knew I was gonna be out in the woods, right? So I kind of want to blend in with nature, right? Um, so I bought this, you know, green, just dark green kind of color, as opposed to being out there in something like red or orange, or right? Um, but it fits really nice. It's a trimmer fitting jacket, right? It's got two nice pockets here. The pockets um, on the inside, like back of my hand, 
has a nice soft fleece um, lining and on the inside if I can pull it out is the Octoloft okay so they are really nice warm pockets um, the cut of the jacket is just perfect right it's it's not very long the older version of this okay um, was short in the front or as short as this one is in the front but the back was much longer but this one is a little more a um, little shorter in the back but it's great um, it has a little pocket up here a zipper pocket now, um, the thing with these zipper pockets that are up high on the chest here, um, Arteryx uh, seems to put them in a lot of pieces that they kind of are aiming more toward mountain activities for climbing, uh, you know, rock climbing, ice climbing, where you're wearing a harness. Because sometimes when you're wearing a harness, it's hard to get into these pockets down low. So they include a, a higher chest pocket. And the nice thing, you know, having these pockets up here is that uh, when you're climbing, now I'm not a climber, but I, I, I know what goes on, um, and you're up on ropes and you're holding a rope, right? It's, you don't want to have to go down and into your side like this to try to get something, right? It's much easier to hold that rope and just simply go like this. Your center of gravity stays right here in front of you. So they're, they're big with these chest pockets up higher. So every time, you know, you see a jacket that has chest pockets up high, it probably was designed, you know, with the climbing in mind. Okay, um, this is obviously a much lighter weight jacket than, than the LT is, um, but it, it is certainly warm. Um, it, is, it is really nice. I mean, I, this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, okay, so that kind of gives you the rundown of the Proton FL, okay, or newly called Proton Lightweight, all right? Um, it also has, I mean, it's a really nice hood. Let me throw it on again. Let me, before I forget, let me do the hood. I'll show you. Um, just a nice small hood. It's, it's not really very helmet compatible, right? It is a smaller hood. Um, it does have that same Octoloft insulation in it, so it is nice and warm. Oops, I got the wrong zipper. Okay, so um, even without cinching it up, it is, you know, it's nice. I do have a little room underneath it if I do want to put a little hat or something, or maybe a fleece with a hood, you know, a thin a hood over like a scuba hood kind of thing on top. This would fit on top of it, you know, with no problem. But I don't think you're putting a helmet underneath this thing. Um, and it does have a, a pull adjustment here in the back that will cinch it up around your head. Okay, so nice piece. Now, um, as I am going to this jacket, I'll tell you, I also have another video out um, about this jacket, just, you know, on its own individual, so you can check that out. And I also have another video um, that I did a while back when I first got this um, that compares this newer version to the older version, okay? So you might want to check that out too. All right. The Proton LT, um, like I said, this is, you say Arteryx, people are thinking about this jacket. Um, this is a really, really popular piece. Um, this and the Atom LT, all right? Now, <laughs> um, I've done videos on comparing all those as well, like this to the Atom LT, um, but I get a lot of remarks and stuff in the comments about people asking which one is warmer. Or, um, you know, I, I did a video, like I said, comparing the two along with a, um, Nuclei FL. And, you know, I said that I felt that even though this has 80 grams um, per square meter insulation and the Atom LT has 60 grams of uh, um, core loft insulation per square meter, um, that I didn't feel a difference between them being warm, uh, that this one would be warmer than the Atom LT. Um, basically because this is much more breathable. The Atom LT is breathable, it has fleece panels on the side, but this jacket is absolutely all around just more breathable, okay, than, than the Atom. For that reason, even though this has a heavier insulation, um, I didn't feel it being that much warmer. 
okay? Um, it is certainly not a significantly heavier jacket than the LT. If I hold the, the, the Atom and the Proton up together, they're really very similar. There's not a big difference. The, the Atom LT and the Atom AR is a big difference. I mean, it's obvious difference when you pick them up. Um, this one and the Atom, they're very, very similar in, in weight and feel and everything, okay? Um, the thing is, for me, I took the two jackets outside one night, all right? I, I went outside. It was a colder night. It wasn't freezing. It wasn't like 20 degrees with a wind chill, but it was probably like upper 30s, a little breeze, you know, it probably felt in the low 30s, okay? I went out with the Atom LT for a little bit, and I'm just hanging around. I'm not doing high output activities, so this is the difference, all right? Um, and I felt cool. I felt cold, okay? It's not a heavy jacket. Um, and I, you know, I was, I was a little cold in it. I wasn't freezing, but I was a little cold, okay? I came inside, I took off the Atom, I put on the Proton. I went outside with the Proton LT. Just hung around, walked around the backyard for a while, whatever, and I really felt the same cold. I wasn't really any warmer. It's not like I took off the Atom because I was cold and I came inside and I put this on and said, oh yeah, this is so much better. This is a lot. I didn't feel that, okay? Um, just my personal experience. Um, I realized this has a heavier insulation than the Atom, all right? but it's more breathable, okay? So the cold air, it's, it's made to transfer air and kind of self-regulate temperatures, okay? I think if you're doing a higher output activity, if you're building up some body heat, okay, this will feel warmer because you have a heavier insulation layer there holding it in, okay? Um, so I believe that that is really the difference, all right? Now, I say I wear this jacket a lot. I play volleyball, right? Um, when I go, you know, and play volleyball, I wear this jacket. Um, it's just enough to keep me warm from the house into the truck, right? <laughs> from my truck into the gym. Um, but, you know, as I'm playing volleyball, I'm, I'm working up a sweat, right? I'm, I'm getting hot. So when I leave the gym, this has been a really nice jacket for me to throw on. And I go back outside in the cold and, you know, and I, I'm not cold, but I don't feel like sweaty and clammy. Um, it really does allow that heat to escape and, and, and breathe. So it has been very nice for that reason, and I, I can see, I can see why so many people like it. Now, I mean, this is quickly becoming a favorite jacket of mine. Okay, I love wearing this underneath my Sawyer and my Gamma MX, my Sawyer jacket and my my Gamma MX. Um, it's just a great, great combination. It's a really super nice piece. Um, so yes, the insulation is a little heavier than the Atom. Um, but it depends on your usage, okay, what you're doing with it. I just, to go outside on a cold day, I really didn't feel a big difference, all right? Um, but, yeah, so that's my take, okay? Um, same face fabrics, okay? Same kind of fabric here on the outside as the um, Proton Lightweight, all right? Um, just a really nice, it's a pretty durable fabric. I mean, it's very comfortable, it's soft. It's kind of like a matte finish. Um, the inside too just has, it's basically the same kind of in, um, fabric on the inside it feels. A little, little more nylon-y than the outside, um, but a very, very breathable. There's no pockets inside this, okay? Um, on the Proton FL, or lightweight, um, there's no pockets either, okay? It's just a pocket on the um, upper chest, uh, which this has as well, okay? It has a one pocket up here on the upper chest. Um, kind of nice, the zipper is enclosed in this one or underneath a flap, um, where this one, the zipper is exposed right on the outside. Um, <laughs> 
not a big deal. Um, the nice part about having the flap here is it does help to a um, little more weather protection, right? Keeping that zipper sealed up. Um, if it's raining or getting wet or something, it's not going to leak in. Um, but what I really like about it is simply the fact that <laughs> exactly what happened before, if you notice, when I tried to zip up this jacket to put the hood on, I grabbed the wrong zipper. I had two zippers here, right? The main zipper and then the zipper for the little pocket. And when you're not paying attention, you know, you just grab a zipper and you're, you're pulling up the pocket and not the main jacket. Uh, it does that a lot. Now the old Proton FL had two chest pockets with two exposed zippers. So you can have three zippers in a row here. So you don't think about it, you're just going to unzip your jacket and you go like this and, 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 and you're pulling a pocket down and, and like, oh shit, you know, yeah, <laughs> you gotta pull it down. So. Yeah, just the little things. Um, so really nice, okay, nice insulated pockets. I gotta say, you know, the thing with um, Arteryx jackets, all my jackets is I, I'm amazed at how warm the, the pockets are on a lot of these things. They really do keep your hands nice and warm. All right, so nice, durable fabric, very breathable, extremely popular uh, coat, great for high output activities. That is absolutely what this jacket was made for, is those high output activities. Um, again, if it's just casual, you know, you're wearing it in the city, you're wearing it out, you know, whatever, for a walk with your dog on a cold day, you're probably gonna feel cold in this thing, okay? That's not really what it's aimed at, right? It's made to breathe and when you're doing high output activities, okay? Climbing, um, you know, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, things like that. Um, definitely, absolutely what this jacket was targeted to do, okay? So, uh, I'm also wearing Proton pants right now. Um, <laughs> Um, these are pretty new. I just did a video on these as well. I just figured I'm going to be all Proton here for this video, right? Um, Proton pants, love them. They're awesome. They're they're kind of in between a, a standard pants and like maybe like a casual sweatpant kind of thing, okay? Um, they're kind of that in between, but they have this same Octoloft insulation inside of them. Very breathable, um, very... Um, very much uh, comfortable, extremely comfortable, and great to just wear, you know, on their own. And they're great to be layered like underneath, uh, you know, like a, a, a Gore-Tex pants or something else. Like they can be a great insulation layer under, you know, other pants on top. Um, so really great, versatile, breathable pants as well. All right, all right. So that's like Proton. Um, Real fast, they also have a Proton hybrid jacket, okay? I, was, I saw that, I was like, oh man, like I love these Protons, I should get that. Um, once I learned what that was about, I really just said, it's just not for me. I'm never gonna need that, I'm never gonna wear that. It just didn't make sense for me. Um, it's, people love it for what it was designed to do, like um, snowboarding, skiing activity, stuff like that, people love it. It's a great piece. Um, my thing is it only has insulation on the front. The rest of the jacket has no insulation. It's more like a shell than it is a jacket. And you know, for me, like I, I don't do all those activities. I'm just, you know, wearing it every day around town. And to not have, you know, a jacket that has insulation all around me just doesn't make sense for me, um, for what I do. So, you know, I want a jacket that's insulated to keep me warm. And just having insulation on the front and nothing in the sleeves in the back, it's just, you know, I'm just for me, I just don't see the need to spend my money on that because it's not for me, all right? But anyway, all right, thank you very much. Hey, you guys, hit that like button. Keep subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support. I uh, hope you like the videos, and um, we'll see you back soon. Take care. Stay warm.